the healthcare system in general is relatively broken. There's lots and lots of challenges from the aging demographic to the way we don't communicate well as clinicians or as patients. I think the big trend needs to be not spending what we, as we do today, 80% of our healthcare dollar on the 20% of the population with chronic diseases, but shifting the incentives to keeping people healthy uh, and, and diagnosing things earlier and managing them in much smarter ways, using better ways to understand, for example, something as simple as hypertension. One in four Americans has high blood pressure, half of those are uncontrolled. I like to show the example of um, this little EKG monitor on my, on my mobile phone. This is a $10 case. I can look at my EKG in real time. Just an example of convergent, low-cost technologies coming together that wasn't available before we had mobile phones that are computers with apps that can be connected to cloud-based databases. A hundred years ago, it was this doctor-patient relationship. My doctor is responsible for my health. But we're now potentially where we can all be the CEO of our own health. We're going to have a dashboard of our data, just like we can look at our financial information, get a trajectory of our health, what's likely to happen based on our genetics. So I see the future of medicine being, instead of today where you pick up disease at stage three or four, in most cases where it's difficult or impossible to cure and very expensive, we need to move to sort of stage one or even stage zero medicine. That's where I really see the, the future of health and medicine is, is true prevention, early diagnosis, and much more targeted effective therapies when, when diseases do arise.